Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa, bringing you another Pokemon Showdown battle. Uh, this was an OU battle I had, let's see if we can get the team preview, there we go. Uh, I'm on the other side, nothing's new there, I'm always on the other side. And uh, as you can see, I've got a Sun team made by Super Effective 87 he likes his Sun teams, and I like using them, because I'm terrible at making Sun teams. So yeah, uh, my opponent has a very very annoying team he's basically got three really offensive things like huge offensive threats in the form of infernate breloom dragonite spinner form starmie and freaking skarmory chancy core which i hate and half the time when i see it i'll just forfeit straight off the bat because even if i could have a chance of beating it i just always takes forever and i never feel like facing it so yeah this time I actually did decide to face it though because my friends were watching and this was a new team. I'm like, ah, I might be able to do something. So, because I have a Conkledur and Volcarona and stuff. But anyway, uh, I'm going to start the replay here and I'll explain the team a little more because basically the first eight or nine turns are just both of us setting up hazards, getting rid of each other's hazards. Actually, I don't even think I set up hazards, but... Basically, the first nine turns is just both of us switching around until I get a favorable matchup. So yeah, anyway though, the point of this team is to, uh, the thing it features is Tailwind Volcarona, because Super Effective 87 was like, you know, I always find Volcarona gets revenge killed, like, I set up a quiver dance, and someone brings in their Choice Scarf Terrakion, or they just bring in something to kill it with after you get, like, one kill, or no kills, but... So it's Tailwinds and Life Orbs, so you can set up a Tailwind and then just destroy the opponent's team with Sun Boosted Life Orb Fire Blasts, which kill everything. And also if they have like a rain team, you can kill them with Giga Drain and Bug Buzz and stuff. But uh, yeah, so it's designed to just destroy stuff with that and then either sweep with Conkledor or Subcall Mind Latios. So yeah. Anyway, uh, we've just been switching around. I just spun away his hazards right there, and I'm gonna bring my nine tails as sleep fodder because since he has a Chansey, a Starmie, and a Dragonite, I'm like nine tails. You're not gonna be useful at all. But since I was able, I was able to bring in my nine tails right there. I get a free switch into Volcarona as he switches into Skarmory, which is great because now I get a free Life Orb Fire Blast, and that is going to do 42% to that Chansey. If I, I think if I had Stealth Rocks up, that would have been, oh no, that wouldn't have quite been a 2 hit KO. But that, I mean, that's some hefty damage for a special attack against a Chansey, and especially since he doesn't have T-Wave, he has Toxic, and doesn't go for the Soft Boil right there, I'm just going to be able to sit in here and basically just destroy something. Something is going to die right now. He brings in Starmie thinking he can take that, that just dies, 100%, that's a resisted hit. Volcarona in the life orb. Volcarona, I mean, Volcarona in the sun with life orb. It's so powerful. Anyway, bring in Infernape here, though. I'm gonna bring in Latios, thinking he would go for Fire Move. He goes for Stone Edge, though. That does not do too much. I'm a Latios. I'm bulky. You better get out of here with that crap. And for some reason, he stays in here and goes for the Overheat. I guess he predicted the Fortress, because I think earlier in the battle, I doubled into that. He had him for don't know though. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep going for the Dragon Pulse. He brings in Chansey. That is going to die to two of those. And since he has Evile like not leftovers, he is not gonna be able to recover that damage. And even Chansey is going to go down to all special hits. That is very, very satisfying. I am very glad I did not just forfeit immediately. Anyway, he brings in Skarmory again. I was pretty sure he's gonna go for Stealth Rocks since he's been trying to set them up a lot, a lot. And I bring in Volcarona, knowing I can kill something again, but unfortunately I missed. So Volcarona, it had a good run. It killed his uh, annoying special wall in a spinner, but now it's gonna go down. But that's okay, because it did its job. So now I'm gonna bring in Dugtrio to revenge kill his Infernape, because it's been kind of annoying. You know, Infernape is hard to wall, so bring in Dugtrio, get a revenge kill. It's 2013, folks, and I just got a revenge kill with Dugtrio, but... Yeah, anyway, I set up my Stealth Rocks as he brings in Breloom. Uh, normally I would be kind of concerned about Breloom, but you know, I have a Fortress and a Latios, so I'm not too worried. I could bring in Latios and kill him, but you know, I'm kind of at low health. I don't want to take that 
Y4 Mach Punch, and funnily enough there, he tries to put Fortress to sleep, and I guess he forgot that he put Ninetales to sleep at the very beginning of the battle, I had kind of forgotten at this point too, but I just thought that was really funny that he forgot, or I don't know. And fortunately, since it's not a Wi-Fi battle, he doesn't just get double sleep, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, brings in Dragon Knight, goes for the Fire Punch. If he had gone for DD there, I might have been in trouble, but uh, fortunately, he didn't. So I can just bring in Kongledur. Kongledur's a physically defensive beast, so he takes that outrage, takes him out with Drain Punch. Basically, at this point now, it is just him with his Skarmory left, and... I'm just gonna stall for a while as I just sit here and try to kill it, try to get awake with my nine tails, and he's just gonna phase me around a bunch like a jerk and not forfeit because he used freaking Scarf Chance. But yeah. Anyway, this was the battle. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, so I didn't really get to get a tailwind up this time to show off all Corona, but you know, I showed off its power. And I think I do have a battle saved up where the Tailwind does come in handy a lot. So hopefully that'll be coming up soon. But then again, I have a lot of things backed up, so it might not. Who knows? But uh, yeah, and that'll be the battle. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace.